part two of the K2 Bandai build. Um, what I've done here is I've drilled out holes. I've got a hole drilled out here for this leg and then it goes through this way into the main torso for the wire to go through. I've also <clears throat> drilled holes through here and here for the wire to go through for the thigh and I've also drilled holes through here scrape some of this out so that I can run the wire through the tricky part is going to be this part here because it's really thin and what I'm going to be using which I don't use too much anymore but I'm going to be using magnet wire which is really really thin and I need that thinness to be able to thread it through <clears throat> and then of course the the hole at the bottom of the foot so the wire can come all the way through that way now as far as this joint here on the on the kit there's these little clear plastic pieces that go in there to hold these together on the movie these were open there wasn't anything in there so what I've done is uh, let me see if I can get you a little closer here if I had this little chisel tool here and what I've done is I made a line first all the way around and I slowly started scraping it out scraped out a channel in here to be able to put those wires in the red and the green two wires positive and negative so that I could feed it through there and then when I put these these pieces together and then glue them to the position then you won't be able to see a, a wire through there it should work it looks hopeful now but obviously I have to to do it to make sure it works and then once the wires through everything will be able to fit together so I think what I need to do first here is thread the wire through here and secure it in this channel and connect these together and glue them so that they're stable with the wire plenty of wire coming out both ends and then be able to feed the rest of the leg and stuff so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back that was tricky but I have gotten the red and the green in that channel and they are super glued in there so they will stay so now what I need to do is find a position I want for this leg and start gluing this together feed this wire through here and, and get get all this glued so it doesn't move around and actually first thing I need to do is I need to just to make sure my power's running through there and I didn't didn't break anything so I'll do that and then we'll move forward as you can see I got the wires in there and I've got it glued I still have to figure out um, how I'm going to do this part down here at the ankle but I did test it and I still have power so and I've got my hole all the way through so getting closer I'll move on to the next step got my wire fed through and I, I tacked it with some super glue on these little two pegs right here just to be double sure and now what I can do is I can put this piece on and then I'll be able to glue it I still have some movability if I need right here once I position everything but I'll glue that and then we can move on to the next step finally got all the wire through the entire leg this is still not glued or anything because I, I need it to be free to not only do some detail on the inside but I also need it so that I can adjust it once I get the whole bottom torso and, and the upper torso all together but as you can see I got power going all the way through and the eyes are lit so I'm all good to go what I have here is a, a holder for a, a coin battery 
It's a 2032 coin battery. And what I've done is I have taken a little on off switch here and I've actually five minute epoxied it to the side edge of this holder. And on the bottom here, I've taken the uh, positive here and I've, I've bent it over and I will solder here. The middle tab will go to uh, my lights and then the negative will run from here to the outside pin negative here and then to the lights. So now that that is ready to go, what I've also done is I made a box out of uh, some styrene, I believe it's 0 0.60 styrene, and I measured a hole for my wires to go through under his foot, so a foot here and a foot here. I put eight washers, I don't know what size washers they are, but I put eight of those in here to give it some weight, and so now I also have piece to cover those up because they are metal and I don't want the, the wire having a chance of touching them and then I have a bottom panel here which I will drill holes to secure this to and then it'll all the wires will be on this side and connected everything will be good to go and then put it like that so you don't see any wires or anything underneath and it's easy access to uh, turn it on and off so what I need to do now is I need to glue this piece in then I need to sand my edges and get everything nice and square and then I can uh, paint it so I'm gonna work on that and then I'll come back at the base all painted there's about three coats here and the bottom plate so this will glue like this do all the wiring and then set it down inside like so it's, well, it's tighter than it was a while ago then this will set in there we go like so plenty of room to sit like that and then I can use my button here to turn it on and off so now I'm going to uh, seal everything and start putting on some decals. Getting the decals on, it's a little uh, tricky, especially the shoulder here because it's two pieces and each piece has about a two-thirds slit so it can go around this curve. The yellow line is, is constant. And it takes a lot of fiddling to get on there. Problem is, is I sealed this with some some satin, so uh, I could put the decals on, which was working. But as I was doing the water to get them to slide and all that, and the, and the, then the Walters saw the set to get them to go in, all that I sprayed on there started chipping and flaking off. So what that <laughs> told me was it wasn't bonding to the plastic because I was trying to use just the color of the plastic which I had gotten to a really cool finish that I really liked. So I can't, I know it's battle damaged and all that good stuff but I can't leave it like that because it's, uh, I just don't like it. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start over. I'm going to use another kit and go through everything that I went through already, but I'm going to paint everything. So I will do all of that to get up to this point here, and then I will do a part three. So there's probably going to be a time delay between this one and part three because it's going to take me a little while to get everything glued and run the wires again and all that crap so anyway 
Um, this is going to do it for part two, and um, I'll get it all caught up and then come back and see you for part three. Again, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.